Good evening, and um, welcome to the momentous seventh installment of Three Minute Memorialism. I'm Damien Tavis Toman. We spoke last time of this changing valuation of the presumed afterlife how it began as a privileged um, destination, um, if it were to be anything pleasant at all for, according to the culture, kings alone, chiefs alone, warriors alone, depending on um, what what that culture valued. Um, and um, the rest were relegated to an underworld of less than specific properties, but generally considered to be of rather a bleak sort. Um, and that as the centuries have passed on and we've been influenced more and more, not only by Christianity, but also by the um, very prevalent influence of the positive thinking, new thought movement um, that has, um, for those who, of us who still believe in an afterlife, transformed into a vision of a cheerier hereafter in the upper realms um, where we, we will be in the presence of God. Um, today, let's turn our thoughts towards the possibility that the afterlife is not a destination, but an ever-present reality, um, that the transition from life into life after death is one that takes us the merest step away from what we understand to be material reality and simply presses us a little bit further into the realm of um, active and purified consciousness that we can only begin to glimpse as terrestrial beings in this world. Um, I'm amazed it took me three minutes to say that, but um, I'm afraid we're going to have to leave it there. And I will rejoin that idea tomorrow in our eighth installment of Three Minute Memorialism. I wish you all a good night. Thank you for watching.